Welcome to story time. Are you ready for a story? Well, if you are, let's sing. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, put thumbs up. Yes, if you're ready for a story, give thumbs up. Oh, yes, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, give thumbs up. Yes, if you're ready for a story, say, I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. And I am ready to read you a story. Our first story today is about a rabbit. What do you think a rabbit's favorite food is? That's right, carrots. How many carrots do I have today? Two? In our story, two carrots are not enough for rabbit. With permission from the publisher Capstone, we have the book, Too Many Carrots by Katie Hudson. Look at all those carrots, a lot more than two. Look at Car Rabbit's room. His to-do list is eat carrots, plant carrots, collect carrots, eat carrots. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. What do you think his problem was? He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Well, maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Oh, not at all, said Rabbit. Is he trying to get all those carrots in? Oh, oh, oh dear, out, oh, crash! Oh dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we're all fit, replied Rabbit. So Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branches wobbled and swayed. And snapped, crash. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Oh, just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel, and crack, crash! Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, 
I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, and squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. What do you think they all said? Help me say it. <gasps> ah! Crash, the friends groan as they swept up onto the river bank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. What do you think that one thing to do is? What should Rabbit do? share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't meant for collecting. They were meant for sharing. Look at the delicious feast they have. Carrot cake, yummy. Carrot soup, carrot juice. All the yummy carrot things to eat. And what do you think they did after eating all those good foods? Did they all take a nap? And sharing made everything better. Well, it was raining in that story been raining a lot this spring, but it doesn't bother me because I have an umbrella, which I'm going to read a story to you in a little bit, but first I want to sing a song. Now, I have a scarf to use. If you want to pause the video for a moment, you can do that while you go get something that you can use like a scarf. Are you ready? Rain on the grass, rain on the trees, rain on the roof, but not on me. Let's sing that again. Ready? Take your scarf or just wiggle your hand. Rain on the grass, rain on the trees, rain on the roof, but not on me. Let's see, I told you I was going to read you a story because I don't mind when it rains. I have my umbrella and it keeps me dry while I go out in the rain. It's actually kind of fun. I'm going to ask Bear to hold my umbrella while I read the story to you. Not too easy to hold an umbrella and a book at the same time. Let's see what we can do here. I think there might be room for Rabbit under the umbrella too. There we go. With permission from the publisher Simon and Schuster, I have the big umbrella by Amy. June and Juniper Bates. Whoa, is it raining in this story? By the front door, there is an umbrella. It is big. It is a big 
Renly umbrella. It likes to help. How does the umbrella help? It likes to spread its arms wide. It loves to give shelter. It loves to gather people in. Look at those people. Little dancer in there. It doesn't matter if you're tall. Or hairy. Or plaid. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the umbrella. What do you think? But the amazing thing is with your sun coming out, the rain is going away. There is always room. Under the umbrella while they need it. They won't need it when the sun comes out, though. Right? When the sun shines, you don't need your umbrella anymore. scarf around? Okay, let's wave our scarves. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf fast and slow, fast and slow, fast and slow. Wave your scarf fast and slow, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarf round and round. Wave your scarf, wave your scarf, say goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave your scarf, wave goodbye, wave your scarf, goodbye. Crumble it all up and say goodbye. Because story time is over now, over now. 